I have to have notes for these people. I hope you understand. New York Met Museum. Let's talk about it. So, like I said, my first trip there in New York City in 84, 85 was when I saw the Met the first time. But I want to talk about how it inspired me for so many years. One of the things I used to do, and this is no lie, every trip to New York City I made for probably 25 to 30 years, I always went to the museum before, during, and after that trip. Most of the time I would go sit, just sit on the steps of that museum and have lunch or have a coffee just to be close to the art. I loved just walk, not only walking through the museum, but just being around the art was really inspirational for me. And I used to love like just sitting on the steps and watching New York City life go by and then maybe walking through the park and stuff, but just that museum was such an inspiration for me. In 2002, Richard Avedon had a huge exhibition there and um, since he was my hero and my favorite photographer to this day, this exhibition was overwhelming. Uh, I think I cried the whole time looking at it. Uh, every print was just perfect and gorgeous and it was just iconic. Every image and just, it was Avedon. And, and they did this amazing retrospective on his life and his work. I hope someday my work is hung there. I, it'd be the greatest moment of my life to have something hung there. Uh, and then like, what was fun was like I would go there and I would sit on the steps, eat my lunch, and then just walk around the museum and then I would turn around and I'd walk straight back to Central Park and then walk in the park for a while. And I used to stay at a friend's place on 81st and Park, so that was blocks away. So I'm telling you, I used to go there a lot. And I didn't have to go inside to really get the, the magic and the feeling and the passion of, of the museum and the art.